guys, how's it going? This is Pipple here, and today we are doing another tank race look at. And this, today it is Russian, obviously. What else is it going to see as many tanks? And it's going to be a T10, because uh, why not? Uh, the object 777 version 2. And here it is. Just look at it. Look at it. <laughs> it has a log for. And just look at the wheels. Why? <laughs> Anyways, this tank's a little absurd. I mean, it has this gun right here and an IS 4s gun. And the best part space armor. <laughs> Did anyone does that, do you like space armor? I hope you do. That's quite a lot of it, even the rear does. <laughs> bam, bam, bam. And it's just a little absurd how much space armor this thing has. But let's go over its description. The Object 777 is a unique project of a heavy tank. The vehicle was developed by the Chelyabinsk Kira plant by 1953. The design plans were made, but and the dummy vehicle, and the dummy vehicle was built. Sorry, the prototype was to feature a cast hull and steam streamlined turret and a 122M62 T10. T2. Can I? Can I say that? Okay, good. That's a nice suit. Ice right, Ford's final gun was to be mounted on the tank. However, development proceeded no further. The Object 77 never entered mass production nor saw service. So the most astonishing thing of this tank is basically less heavy, but something more astonishing. Oh, 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 that depression about. I think... Just, um... I think the Dick and Max has some competitors. You know? <laughs> <laughs> it agrees with the pressure. I'm, I'm questioning one game a little bit here. And there you go. And how much armor is that if you put it like that? 120. Okay then. But the problem is there's some blank spot. I'm just kidding. This is not. <laughs> the more realistic would probably be something like that, maybe, which is not that good because it's such a low tank. It's, it's a very low riding tank. Put this gun straight. There we go. Anyways, armor. Um, side, um, 150. Uh, I don't know if there's space armor back there, I, I can't say there is this, but I don't know if there's anything behind it. There's that right there, and that's all I can say. Side turret armor, speaking of that, is really, really good. There you go. Pretty, pretty bouncy. Um, oh, I forgot to mention the log has no armor. Sadly. <laughs> the front of the hole is just messed up everywhere, like, it's just so mixed. Like, down here it's 1,500. I don't, I don't even know the thickness. It goes away from 210 to about 280. Almost up to 290. And up here, it's just all a ricochet. And I really don't know any weak, weak, any weak spots on this tank. For the average gun. Mainly medium guns. I mean, the side of the turret, I don't know if it's based on this. Presumably the hole. Hopefully it's not like the IS-7. But there are, the tracks will eat up basically anything, I presume. Especially if you're shooting heat at the scene. Anyways, let's go look at this gun. I realize that you can't see this stuff after a while, so... Uh, sorry about that. Anyways, equipment or description, whatever this is. Things. Firepower. 258. Eyes uh, 4's gun. Damage 440. 122. T10. Damage per minute. Um, 200, uh, 2200. Uh, with... Um, fence, gun rammer, and, um, what is it? What do they get? Extra combat rations, it goes down to 2600, which is really good. Module damage, I don't know. Reload time goes down to 9 seconds of all that stuff. Rate of fire goes down, oh, it goes up! <laughs> hope it doesn't go down. Hope it goes up by 6. It holds 40 rounds, 122. Max distance the shell will go is 720. I don't know why you would shoot farther than that, but there you go. Shell velocity and it's gravity, whatever the gravity does or velocity. <coughs> well, velocity is pretty self explanatory. Gravity though, I don't know. Maneuverability, 0.34 or accuracy, 0.34. Whoops, I don't know what that is. Uh, aim time, really good, 2.6. Um, here's the stuff after the circle spread. Um, elevation, 80. <laughs> Reading that. Uh, elevation, 18 degrees and <laughs> pressure, 90 degrees. Y you know. Because, because why not? <laughs> you know. Um, gun traverse speed doesn't matter. You know, it's 
turret. Um, turret traverse speed uh, 27 degrees and sh uh, hold traverse speed 28. Not bad. Um, power 850 and a 17 specific power, which is really good, I think. Uh, 20 degrees for the whole um, speed limitation. 50 forward. And this tank weighs only, where is it? Wait, 50 tons. 49 tons. Oh, yeah, 50 tons. Whatever. And I think it could go that speed. I'm not, maybe 40. Um, here's a resistance, pivot, brake force, max climb angle, 25 degrees. Wow. Um, survivability. Okay. Tank health, 2100. It's on the low side. Uh, really low side, actually. It's on the medium. Uh, here's the module health. Again, don't know what that is. And here's the armor. Hull apparently only has 132, but... Where is 132 meters? Like, maybe that or that. But, okay, come on. Put that back on. Oh, whoops. Whoopsie. Did not mean to do that. And, let's, where was I? Anyways, 132 front. 115 side, uh, maybe side real quick. Rear, whoop you do, 45. Turret, 250 on the turret, front, 225 on the side, and 90 on the rear. And those are the tracks. Health. Scout ability, like, well, it's actually scout. Few range, 390, low, well, close to low, lower end, I get suppose. Average is 400, call me that. The benchmark, well, you can't read it, but it says 400, it's average. Signal range, 850. God knows why you would need that, and I appreciate this is the best in the game that's actually in the game. Um, does that have any camouflage? Um, gets 11 and obviously 10. Tank price 100 gold, because, you know, why not? Shell price 1000, I presume that's accurate. Uh, and here's the weight, like I said, 50 tons, and max low can lift to 53 tons, and that is really good, I think. Especially, I don't know how the heck they did that, because this is a pretty big tank, if I want, well, and here it looks big. Of course, I don't know if it looked like that in real life. Well, that's just like taken off paper or something. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Um, like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to check you out in my next uh, next slug. Check out my other videos. And again, thanks for watching. Bye.